Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport of wrestling continues today. We go to Postville, excuse me, Post Falls, Idaho. That's where we find Sierra Foster at school today. But she's been uh, she's been given the time to talk to us because she is the winner of the Trisha Saunders High School Excellence Award this year, and she joins us now. Sierra Foster, Sierra. Good morning. How are you? Morning. I am all right. How are you? I'm good. It was was it was it yesterday you were told about this? Yes, yesterday. And did somebody tell you in class? Um, my mom sent me a message with uh, the link to the National Hall of Fame website. Okay. And what was your immediate response? Um, <laughs> I was honestly jumping up and down. I was so so excited. Um. It was it was amazing. I didn't I didn't expect to win it and to win it it just feels feels awesome. Here's what's cool. The the award recognizes and celebrates uh, our most outstanding seniors from across the country in excellence in wrestling for sure. But most importantly, we have to take a look at the body of work, scholastic achievements, citizenship, and community service. And you nailed all of those things in spades. Let's talk a bit about what it is you're doing uh, with your free time to give back. Uh, from uh, the High School Excellence Award to, to uh, community service, what can you tell us about your community service? Um, I work, I help with my church. So I go to um, Real Life, which is a church local. It's actually where I started wrestling with. Um, and I help back. Um, every year we have to do this um, backpack thing for people who can't afford to buy school supplies, haircuts, clothes. We help with that and we help um, rebuild our community and um Have you been helping to coordinate food drives for food banks? Yes, I've helped food drives. We have food drives at our school, and I've also helped. Um, I've helped several. Um, so you've got some church and, and real life ministries, soup kitchens, and food banks and food drives. Yes, and I've helped lots of soup kitchens in Spokane mostly. Um, Spokane's a lot bigger area, and so they have a lot more need. So you were selected as the West Region winner, which is pretty unique this year because, quite frankly, the the states that were and the girls that were eligible for this award in prior years uh, were not. Uh, uh, the, it, the only states that were eligible is where they had state uh, championships for girls. So this year they changed the criteria, allowing more girls an opportunity at this award. And as the West Region winner, you represented well. Others included uh, uh, Hamer out of uh, the colony in t uh, Texas, in the Central Region, Mata, Mackenzie Mata of Finleyville, Pennsylvania, the Northeast Region, and then uh, Kayla Morano of Jefferson, Georgia, the Southeast Region, and, and uh, Caitlin Pizzo of uh, Clawson, Michigan, in the Midwest Region. So it was a uh, rare of fight error that... Uh, you were in, and uh, gosh, good company, too. Talk to us about how old you were when you started wrestling. I started wrestling when I was six. Um, I started wrestling because my brother started when he was six, and so I just I just figured that's what I was supposed to do. And um, I just want, I'm very thankful for uh, Dana Foltz. He's the reason why I'm wrestling in the first place, because my club was an all-guys club. I was the first girl wrestling it, and he allowed me. And without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at, where I am today. Do me a favor. Where you're at today is in high school, but you're going somewhere. I want you to stand up and show everybody where you're going to go. What? OCU Stars, you've already given them a commitment. Is it an NLI or is it a verbal? Um, it's I've actually signed. I, I verbaled last year, and I signed September 1st. This, oh, how uh, exciting. Class. How exciting. You finished third in the Class 5A State Boys Tournament as a freshman, and after becoming the first girl to be a 5A district champ in Idaho, you were named Sophomore of the Year and Wrestler of the Year by USA Idaho Wrestling, which is pretty cool. You also captained the girls' soccer team as a junior and senior. Uh, senior. I, I don't know. Do you have any free time at all? Um, some on weekends, Sundays after church. I have some free time where I pretty much just like to be lazy. 
Um, <laughs> but otherwise, no, it's always go, go, go. All right, so your brother, you talked a little bit about him. That's when you started wrestling, when your brother started wrestling. He did pretty well for himself. Where's he, where's he attending school? He's attending school at the University of Wyoming. So he's a cowboy. And he wrestling, is a cow wrestling for Mark Branch, how's he doing up there? Uh, he's all right. Um, his freshman year, he got his redshirt year pulled, and he did pretty well. He got pulled up weight class two. He was a, he's a 125 pounder, but he got put up to 133. And then this last sophomore year, he took his redshirt year. So it wasn't that long ago where you won the gold medal in the uh, 2016 Pan American Cadet Championships and really helped the U.S. capture the team title. What can you tell us about that? Um, it was just an amazing experience. I wrestled so well at that tournament, and I believe I wrestled so well because I just felt like I didn't have any pressure on me. Um, I didn't have any expectations going in. I just went out and wrestled. And um, I was a little nervous after, uh, before my first match against Canada, but I pinned her in 16 seconds. So it was a big <laughs> <laughs> you, you, big win. Yeah, good job. You should be nervous every single match if that's the performance. Uh, you received the Golden Boot. That's the Outstanding Wrestler Award uh, to winning all three by, uh, of your matches by pin. How proud of uh, you uh, was your mom and dad, Todd and Angelique? They were so proud. Um, after the finals match, I texted them and they were so, so <laughs> proud. Um, my mom actually made a wager with me if I won it, um, the one, the Pan Ams, that uh, she would allow me to go to a convention that I would like to go to. Um, and so she delivered on that. But she was so, so excited because they were not expecting, they were not expecting me to win my first international tournament. We're talking with the Trisha Saunders Excellence Award winner. And uh, what a fine young lady. Sierra Foster is joining us. I had a chance to talk with your dad yesterday, Todd, uh, quite a bit. And uh, he is so proud of what you've been able to accomplish. And let's tell our, our viewers a little bit more about what you've, what you've accomplished. Two-time champ, five-time finalist at USA Wrestling Folk Style Nationals. You won the USA Wrestling Cadet Freestyle Nationals, finished second at the USA Wrestling Junior Freestyle Nationals as well. This, all this put you on the radar of, of some great colleges. Who are some of those that you were considering prior to making your commitment to the Stars? I was honestly only considering two schools, Oklahoma City University and Simon Fraser, because those are the two I've wanted to go to for the longest time. Um, and then I visited the OCU campus and practiced with the girls, and I really enjoyed it. So I revolved after that. I was there for the very first uh, introduction, the very first class of, uh, of wrestlers at uh, OCU. And I'll tell you what, at that time it was under then head coach Archie Randall. And this is a school that believes in its athletics program. It's in a very cool community, and the campus is cool. It's very tightly knit. And I think you're going to do uh, and have a really positive experience there. How are you doing academically now uh, in your senior year? I have a 4.0. Oh, um, I'm sorry, 4.0. Okay. <laughs> Come on, really? Yes. Uh, my lo um, Yeah, my lowest grade is a 97%. 97%. That's tough. I don't even, how do you sleep at night? 97%. I know. I know. <laughs> so disappointing. <laughs> Sierra, it's, uh, it is just absolutely a privilege for me to talk to uh, you. I'm going to be talking to uh, Dayton Fix, who won the male counterpart of this award, the, the David Schultz Award, here shortly. He's, he's committed to Oklahoma State to wrestle as a legacy because his father wrestled at Oklahoma State as well. But uh, this is truly a very cool class. Are you looking forward to the induction ceremonies on the, what is it, the second and third? Yes, I am so, so excited. Um, it's going to be in a real, really amazing experience. And I just, I just hope I don't um, do anything that makes me look dumb. Well, I, I'm sure they're going to coach you on what to do. Uh, sometimes the best speeches on that weekend 
the uh, the honors weekend. This is the 41st annual honors weekend, by the way. But sometimes the speeches given by the Saunders Award and the Schultz Award are the best speeches of the weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing yours. Congratulations to you. Who would you like to thank? I would like to thank all of my coaches throughout my um, career. Uh, Lonnie Lovett, um, Pete Reardon, my father. Um, I'd like to thank my future wrestling coach, Matt Stevens, Emma Randall, um, Terry Steiner, all the people that have gotten to me, where, uh, gotten me where I am today. If there was a top 30 most influential people in women's wrestling, I would have to say Terry Steiner is right up there toward the top, even though he was not a women's wrestler. He has had the greatest impact on women's wrestling. Would you say that's true? I believe so. I would say that's true. Well, I know once <laughs> once you get to school down in Oklahoma and then even beyond uh, making an impact for Team USA, it's going to be a ball. And I know you're having fun there. But uh, when do you, when do you actually graduate? June what? I graduate June 8th. June 8th. Well, it's a short time between now and then. And we wish you the absolute best. Best to your mom and dad and your brother Drake. And congratulations on winning this year's Trisha Saunders High School Excellence High School Excellence Award. Nice job out of you. Thank you. For all of us at Takedown, our very special guest in the Nike hot seat today, Sierra Foster, a fine young lady who believes in giving back, and she also expects the best out of herself academically and athletically. I'm Scott Kasper. Thanks for watching.